Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. All documents based on the normal template in Word contain space for header and footer information. To view and edit the content of the headers and footers while working in the document, however, you must use the print layout view of the document. To view and edit header and footer information in your document in Word, click the Insert tab in the ribbon. Then click either the Header or Footer button as desired in the Header and Footer button group. You can then select a preset header or footer to insert from the Buttons drop-down menu. Alternatively, to create a custom header or footer, select either the Edit Header or Edit Footer command in the drop-down menu. At that point, your insertion marker cursor appears in either the header or footer sections depending on your selection. Alternatively, Note that you can simply double-click directly into either the header or footer areas in your document to edit either the header or footer. Note that when you enter a header or footer, your insertion mark cursor appears at the left side of it. You can press the tab key on your keyboard to then move to the center of the header or footer. You can then press the tab key on your keyboard once again to move to the right side of the header or footer. After adding the tab characters into the header or footer, you can then just click into the desired side to move your mouse cursor to the desired tab stop within either the header or footer. The insertion mark cursor's location determines where the content you insert or type appears. After entering either the header or footer section, then either a header and footer contextual tab or a design tab of a header and footer tools contextual tab then appears in the ribbon depending on your office version. It contains commands for editing the header and footer. After entering the header or footer, you cannot edit the body of the document until you switch back to the normal editing mode. To exit editing the header or footer, click the close header and footer button in the close button group on the header and footer contextual tab in the ribbon. Alternatively, you can simply double-click back into the body of the document. When editing headers and footers, you can move between the headers and the footers using the buttons that appear in the Navigation button group on the Header and Footer contextual tab in the ribbon. To move to the current page's header or footer, click either the Go to Header or Go to Footer button in this button group. Alternatively, you can also press the up and down arrows on your keyboard to move between them too. If available, to jump to the previous or next header or footer, click the previous or next buttons in this button group. To link the currently selected header or footer to the previous document section to continue using its header or footer if available, click the link to previous button that appears in this button group. To add page numbering, click the Page Number button that appears in the Header and Footer button group on the Header and Footer contextual tab in the ribbon. To add preset page numbering, then roll over either the Top of Page, Bottom of Page, or Page Margins command in the drop-down menu that appears depending on where you want to insert the preset page numbering. Then select the page numbering to insert from the scrollable listing in the side menu of choices that appears. To remove the preset page numbering, click the same Page Number button in the Header and Footer button group on the Header and Footer contextual tab in the ribbon. Then select the Remove Page Numbers command from the Buttons drop-down menu. Alternatively, to insert page numbering into your insertion mark cursor's current location in the header or footer, simply roll over the Current Position command in the drop-down menu that appears. Then select the page numbering to insert from the scrollable listing in the side menu of choices that appears. Note that you cannot use the Remove Page Numbers command to remove this type of page numbering. To remove manually added page numbers, click and drag over the page number field to select it. Then press the Delete or Del key on your keyboard to delete it. You can also use this same method to delete many of the other types of fields that you manually insert into headers and footers in Word. To format page numbering after inserting it, click and drag over it to select the Page Number field. Then click the Page Number button in the Header and Footer button group on the Header and Footer contextual tab in the ribbon. 
Then select the Format Page Numbers command from the Buttons drop-down menu to open the Page Number Format dialog box. Use the Number Format drop-down in this dialog box to choose the Page Number style. To include chapter numbers, check the Include Chapter Number checkbox and then use the Chapter Starts With Style and use Separator drop-down to select with which style to start the chapters and which separator to use. To continue the page numbering from a previous document section, ensure that the Continue from Previous Section option button is selected under the Page Numbering section in this dialog box. Otherwise, to begin a new page numbering set for the current document section, select the Start At option button, and then enter the starting number into the adjacent field. After setting the page numbering format, click the OK button in the Page Number Format dialog box to apply it. If you want to insert a date time stamp, click the Date and Time button in the Insert button group on the Header and Footer Contextual tab in the ribbon to open the Date and Time dialog box. In this dialog box, select the format for the date and time stamp to insert. To update the date and time automatically when the document is opened, check the Update Automatically checkbox in this dialog box before clicking the OK button. To insert common document information fields into the header or footer, click the Document Info drop-down button in the Insert button group on the Header and Footer Contextual tab in the ribbon. Then select the field to insert, like Author or File Name, by clicking it within the drop-down menu. Note that you can also roll over the Document Property command in this drop-down menu to select from a side menu of other commonly used document properties to insert, like Title. To insert a field from all of Word's available fields, then instead click the Field command from the Buttons drop-down menu to open the Fields dialog box. To view all available fields, select the All Choice from the Categories drop-down at the left side of this dialog box. Below that, then select the name of the field to insert from the Field Names list. If needed, set any options for the selected field to the right of the list. Then click the OK button in the Field dialog box to insert the selected field. Also note that you can access both document properties and fields by clicking the Quick Parts button that appears in the Insert button group on the Header and Footer contextual tab in the ribbon too. If you want to insert building block content or auto text entries into the header or footer, then click the Quick Parts button in the Insert button group on the Header and Footer Contextual tab in the ribbon. To add an auto text entry that you have saved, then roll over the Auto Text command in the Buttons drop-down and click the entry to add in the side menu that appears. To insert a building block which offers things like page numbering with different themes, then instead select the Building Blocks Organizer command from the Buttons drop-down menu to open the Building Blocks Organizer dialog box. Then click the building block to insert within the list in this dialog box. Then click the Insert button within this dialog box. When finished, you can click the Close button to close the dialog box if needed. To insert a picture from your computer's file system into a header or footer in Word, click the Pictures button in the Insert button group on the Header and Footer contextual tab in the ribbon. Then use the Insert Picture dialog box that opens to navigate to the picture to insert and click it to select it. Then click the Insert button in this dialog box to add the selected picture to the header or footer. Alternatively, to insert an online picture from Bing or from your connected OneDrive account, click the Online Pictures button to open a panel where you can either search or browse for online pictures to insert or where you can click the OneDrive button in the lower left corner to browse for a picture to insert from your online OneDrive folders, if connected. Then click to select the picture or pictures to add. 
Then click the Insert button in the lower right corner of this pane to add the selected pictures to the header or footer. Some documents need more than a single header and footer. For example, you may want the first page of a document to not show any header or footer information, but then show header and footer information beginning on page 2 of the document. To create a different set of headers and footers for the odd and even pages in your document, or the first page of your document, use the check boxes that appear in the Options button group on the header and footer contextual tab in the ribbon. To do this, just check the desired checkbox or checkboxes in this button group. They are different first page, different odd and even pages, and show document text. Note that the show document text checkbox simply toggles the display of the text in the body of the document on or off while editing the headers or footers. After selecting the type of headers and footers to add to your document using these checkboxes, then enter the specific header and footer information you want to appear within each header and footer you added. Finally, to adjust the distance from the top of the page to the header or from the bottom of the page to the footer, use the header from top and or the footer from bottom spinner boxes that appear in the position button group on the header and footer contextual tab in the ribbon. To add an alignment tab within the current header or footer, which also allows you to add a decorative leader to the tab if desired, click the Insert Alignment Tab button in the Position button group on the header and footer contextual tab in the ribbon. In the Alignment Tab dialog box that opens, select the alignment of the tab by selecting either the left, center, or right option button. Then choose either Margin or indent from the Align Relative To drop-down. To add a leader to the tab, select a choice from the Leader section, or choose the None option to not have a leader tab. When finished, simply click the OK button to add the tab to the current header or footer. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www dot teachucomp dot com forward slash free.